Hello world and welcome to the next video. During the first presidential debate, former VP Joe Biden made comments about the president's health care plan. Let's watch. He has no plan for health care. Of course he we do. Sends, Please. He sends out wishful thinking. He has executive orders that have no power. He hasn't lowered drug costs for anybody. He's been promising a health care plan since he got elected. He has none, like almost everything else he talks about. He does not have a plan. He doesn't have a plan. And the fact is, this man doesn't know what he's talking about. All right, let's talk about Obamacare for a moment. Now, I am not going to tell you Obamacare is perfect. But the fact of the matter is, is it insures millions more Americans than would otherwise be insured. It has many flaws, Obamacare does. But it is better for covering people than the previous plan. The GOP wanted to throw out Obamacare. And John McCain, in his vote, saved the plan. But the GOP has never had a replacement available. Interview after interview, the president said his health care plan is coming. The reporter asks him, where is your health care plan? What is the plan? What are the details? Can you release the details in a document? Tell us what it is. Who's covered? Which changes are being made? There's no plan. He's running off the cuff. He's just saying there's a plan. People want a plan, so he says there's a plan, but there's no plan. You can look at the Republican think tanks. They don't have a health care plan available. Now, let me tell you why that is. There's no health care plan available because they don't want to replace it. They want to throw millions of people off because the corporations make more money when people die. Healthcare industry is a business. Death is profitable. It's sad. It's so terrible. But death is prof profitable. That's what they're doing. It's a deep systemic problem. There are not regulations on prices in the healthcare industry. A $10 test, they can charge you 1000 They can charge you 10000 There was one guy who went crazy with his prices. And then eventually the law went after him because people were so outraged. But you can charge 1000% of the cost and nobody blinks an eye because our healthcare system is broken. It profits off of people dying. If they can deny you, they save money. People skip going to the doctor because they know the bill is going to be huge. And they know that the doctor is going to just say, oh, you look okay. And then that's $1,000. If you had a healthcare system that prioritized monitoring and making sure someone does not get sick, healthcare costs would be lower because a person that is not sick is a person that doesn't need the crazy life-saving treatment at the end of their life, near the end. They don't get into a terrible situation because they are healthier and they detect problems sooner. If you detect cancer at an early stage, you don't need the crazy treatments which have little chance of saving you at a late stage of cancer. But if you live, the healthcare industry makes less money. I get it, this is coming off really harshly. And it's no single person who sets up this system. It fails at each step of the way. And that's why we need people who are at least willing to look at it and try to make it better. Obamacare is flawed as it is, but that's what could be passed at the time to try to improve the system. At this point, we need to incrementally make it better and stop letting people prioritize money over life. Thank you for watching. If you like my coverage, like, comment, subscribe.